So the first schedule that I want to do is called the Schedule of Expected Cash Collections. So I'm going to start out by properly titling this. So I'm going to call this Bryn Company or Bryn Inc. And it's a Schedule of Expected Cash Collections. And this is for the quarter ended March 31st. Now I'm going to start with my sales. So my sales in December, so this is my actual sales is 280. Then I have my sales for January. So I'm just getting this from part B right here is 400,000. Then for February is 600,000. March is 300,000. And then April is 200,000. So what I want to do is find out what part of the sales are my cash sales because we're going to collect those in the current month. So if I read this in part C it says sales are 20% for cash and 80% on credit. So I'll just put my cash sales here and I'll put this as 20%. So 280 times 20% is 56,000. And if you want to drag this formula over, so if I want to do 400 times 20%, what you can do is just go into the formula and put a dollar beside the letter and the number that you want to keep constant. So I want that 20% to stay the same. And then you can just drag it over. So the next thing that I have to figure out is my credit sales and when those are going to be collected. So in this case, it tells me that 80% of the sales are on credit. And so if I do 280 times 80%, that gives me 224. And if I do 400,000 times 80%, that gives me 320. And we can lock the formula down. So just putting a dollar in front of the letter and the number, and then you can just drag that across. And then what I would do here is maybe say uncollectible. So there's no uncollectible sales in this question. But if there is in another question, you can just put it here. All I'm trying to figure out is, did I actually account for all of my sales? So this should equal 280. January should equal 400,000. February should equal 600. March should equal 300. April should equal 200. So that's how your sales were distributed. So when I'm putting together my cash budget right now, what I'm going to do is pick up my cash sales. So those occurred in the current month. And then let's deal with our credit sales. So usually the pattern is a percentage of the credit sales are due in the current month, a, a percentage of the credit sales are collected in the following month, and then a percentage of the cre credit sales are collected in the following following month. 
but in this question it just tells us that all payments on credit sales are collected in the following month. So I'll just say uh, collection of credit sales following month. Just kind of like that. So in this case all I need to do, so I'm not worried about December because I don't have to report for that, it's already reported. So I can go equals and grab those credit sales and we're collecting them in January. Go equals, grab those credit sales from January, we're collecting all of them in February. Grab those credit sales from February, we're collecting them in March. And grab those credit sales from March because we're collecting them in April. So these are called your total cash collections. And what I'm doing is I'm just summing my reporting period. So this is going to be January, February, and March. And I'm going to actually insert another column here because we should be keeping quarter totals as well. So I'll put this one as bold. And then what I'll do is I'll highlight all the information from your reporting period. So I don't mind, again, if I'm missing data on either side of my reporting period. It's just I put a lot of information on here because I don't know if I'll need that information from a previous month or from the following month when I'm putting together this budget. So I just like to have extra information. So when we're totaling our cash collections, we're just going to sum the 80,000 and the 224. So that sums it across. And then what I'm going to do is also sum the quarter. So my sales for the quarter is January, February, and March. My cash sales are January, February, and March. My credit sales are January, February, and March. And same with my total sales, January, February, and March. So those two equal each other. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll just add up my cash sales collected for January, February, March, and then my credit sales collected for January, February, and March. So I did a lot of information on this budget, but this is the part that we're going to be transferring to our cash budget. So I'm just trying to figure out, okay, if I sold 400 in sales in January, you would think that you're going to collect 400000 in cash, but that's not the case because we did sales on credit and we're collecting them in different periods um, from when we made the sale. So when I'm trying to do my cash budget, I'm looking and I'm like, oh, actually, you know what? I'm only collecting 304000 of cash, even though I sold 400 that month. So that's really important to make that distinction.